Greetings, this is Junior Martin of Bob Martin and the Whalers. The time has come for the lion to tell his story. And we have here the lion voice. So listen in and get nourishment for the stomach and for the head cup. Ja, Rastafari. The time has come for us to tell our own story. This is the lion voice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Okay. Light to the world. King of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like himself. Where's my friend? Hey yo! Hey guy! Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July So tell them guy, who prays God up in the sky It's a lie, the almighty living now you die from ancient times, them a try Them Romans know them just up in them suit and ties Criminals ain't got no alibi They stole my people, then them come through without them genocide Are you talking about slavery? Them couldn't kill The lion will come conquer through the tribe oh. Go to tribulation, I your nice tribe See separation, I your nice still rise That's why we tell them in America Live Rastafari right in a every ghetto area we come to tell them in a Toronto straight at night. Housekeeping, Sheila, the Bob Marley movie. Let's talk about it. Um, before I go into my sound, let's hear what the former ambassador of Jamaica to the UN, uh, serving on the Security Council, Ambassador Kurt Ward, had to say. All right, we have here Ambassador. Kurt Ward, who is uh, was Jamaica's ambassador to the UN, we just finished a private screening of One Love. What did you feel about this film, knowing that you have lived through much of the events in Jamaica? Well, it brought back some very bad memories, as well as some good ones. And to see Bob Marley's life, seeing that whole era through Bob Marley's life is really quite thrilling and I must say the, the, the quality of the movie is excellent yes and the, the actors and actresses they did a very good job and I, I think it's an overall must to see must see. for anyone who wants to understand that part of Jamaica's history so I recommend it strongly and how do you feel knowing that Jamaican society rejected Bob in that time to see the reception now that Jamaica has given the stone that the builder refused becoming? You know, what Jamaica is actually known for internationally. How, how do you see that? Well, it, 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 it was a class issue. Okay. And remember, we were transitioning in a new out of the Cold War into a new dynamic. And people were still set in their colonial ways. And so anything coming out of Trench Town couldn't be good. But that was not a universal, and speaking of universal, I mean Jamaica. Yes. It was universal in Jamaica. Yes. Because the masses of the people were the majority of the people didn't buy into that construct. Okay. So, it, 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 it's one thing of saying the stone that the builder refused, but who, who are the builders of society? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because the upper middle class, their children bought into Bob Marley, but they didn't. Yes. And when Michael Mann in the 70s said no bastard, no day again, and equal pay, and equal rights and raise the, the and, and raise the wages of the living poor of the household helpers. The middle class rejected that. So it wasn't just a Bob Marley rejection. And we have to put it in that whole context okay. of the social casting in Jamaica in those days. Okay. And you're saying that this movie is something that well represents Jamaica. To the world. This is the biggest probably uh, platform we've seen Jamaica on uh, in terms of a, a Hollywood blockbuster film. Um, what's the significance in, in, in this time when the world is so unstable to have a film like this that puts Jamaica on the map? 
Well, I wouldn't agree that the film put Jamaica on the map. Mm -hmm. Because Jamaica's conduct of international relations has stood above most countries in the world. Okay. And the Mafia came working on a documentary on that right now. Okay, I'm excited. But what, what, what I would say is Jamaica's culture, that culture of music that, that Bob Marley represented, Peter Tosh, Jimmy Cliff, Toots and the Metal. There's a whole lot of, 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 of these artists that have internationalized Jamaica's culture. And I think that's one of the most important aspects of all of this. Yes. Um, Jamaica's tourism is doing great, you know? Yes. And Bob Marley contributed to that. Greatly. Because his popularity. I've traveled in many countries in Africa and elsewhere. And one of the first things people ask me when they hear I'm from Jamaica, did you know Bob Marley? <laughs> You know, I didn't know him first. Yes, I was going to ask. But I saw him when it was still the Whalers on stage Yes. in Mandeville. You know, that's way back way in back. the 60s I'm talking about. Yes, you. yes, yes. So I've grown up in, in the music of Bob Marley. I've grown up in the transition from ska to rock steady to reggae and no even dance hall. Yes. Um, but reggae still stands out to me. Yes, of course. Although the rhythms, many of the rhythms from the rock that it is, still resonate with my generation. Of course. But the message, the message from reggae is a completely different platform. Platform. And finally, last thing, you witnessed, you said, His Majesty's speech at the UN to, uh, that became the song War. No, I didn't witness okay. it, but I've cited it many, many times. Okay, okay, just to be clear, because you were the ambassador for Jamaica to the UN Security Council. Right. So I mixed it up, but but what is the significance of that speech right now? That speech is still quite relevant today. We have wars going on all over the world. We still have oppressive governments. Some of them have learned the oppression of the original colonizers and have profited from it. We have corruption all over. And, and, and so we still have racism. There's no question about that. Yes. But as Selassie said, and as Bob Marley popularized in, in the song, until the philosophy that holds one race superior and another inferior, is totally abandoned and destroyed. There will be war. Wow, give thanks. Mighty. Um, and before um, I get into that, and, and I'll play um, Prince Aramayas as well, what he had to say. Um, we also had attorney uh, Gabriel Christian. I was the, the private screening was hosted by the law office of Gabriel Christian. That was one of the first law offices that I worked at as a young attorney always have to big up um, attorney Gabriel Christian Redrin. that is one of the um, things that uh, we will play is um, also the word sound from attorney uh, Gabriel Christian Well, great is the Almighty, yeah. and greatly to be praised in the city of Haile Selassie I, the mountain of His Holiness. Yeah, from Cape to Cairo, from Timbuktu to the Nile, you know, the whole entire continent. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, from Accra yeah, 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 to Isamaba. Yeah. Yes, beautiful continent, better control, mama. I hear you call mama Africa Been so long since I see mama Father of Africa said the law 
Allah We gonna use solar energy Use sanitation to build the ecology We utilizing green technology We healing highly Selassie first without apology And then we build the youth them economy We dismantle Babylon monopoly We teach the youth them how to live properly Tell them make sure them got the title for them property Yes, this beautiful continent Never harden, I wanna turn all your slums into garden